this was definitely supposed to be a little Instagram Trader Joe's snack haul I was gonna share with you on Instagram <sighs> $190 later, here we are with a whole YouTube video. So, I am back, you guys, with a large Trader Joe's haul, sharing with you my must-haves. This haul is like, I went there and I just said, you know what, we need groceries anyway, like I always do, and I went there hungry. It was a bad situation, but we definitely stocked up, so I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up um, for groceries, for snacks, this is a vegetarian haul if any of you were curious i got so much stuff and honestly i think i need to clean out my fridge and freezer because none of this is gonna fit but so excited tomorrow's supposed to be a really nice day like high of 66 or 68 so we're gonna have a picnic outside i wanted to get some yummy snacks like summery snacks some mom cocktails and things i just went ham so i hope you guys enjoy videos like these if you're a foodie thumbs up okay so first and foremost we of course have our bread i just have um a regular whole wheat uh sandwich bread going on so that we can have sandwiches this week i have some butter croissants these are so good i know they're not healthy this is not a healthy trader joe's haul for sure but these are so yummy and i absolutely love doing egg and cheese sandwiches for breakfast so stinking yummy um, so I got those. I had bought a few things of citrus. So I got a bag of lemons, a bag of limes as well. Um, I love having lemons and limes on hand for just sprucing up anything, making sauces, and uh, just, they're just always good to have in the fridge. I got a bag of avocados. I plan on making a corn avocado cold salad um, for tomorrow if you guys i might film that we i mean i i made it last year but i got a mini watermelon because sydney and i love watermelon especially on nice days so tis the season for starting to get some yummy watermelons i decided on getting some flatbreads i've never tried these from trader joe's before um but there is a i think it's a four pack yeah four pack hi girly um of indian style flatbread so they're kind of like the non flatbreads that i get from the grocery store but this is actually a pack of four and i figured these are garlic by the way and i figured i would pop these in the freezer and these would be really nice to have for nights where i want like a really quick um you know dinner or lunch or something speaking of the non flatbreads, so i got a couple of things to go with them i just got a thing of pasta sauce pasta sauce a thing of pizza sauce so i've never tried anything like this before but i saw this near um near like the dough section this is shredded pizza seasoned toscano cheese i hope it's good um it looks like it had uh what does it have in there i don't even know like garlic onion oregano crushed red pepper parsley it sounds really flavorful and um like a nice you know difference uh, flavors so anyway that will be like meals to have in the pan in the freezer i also got oh i don't need this <laughs> this is gonna be summertime soon i really need to lay off the bad foods whatever um trader joe's chocolate chip muffins are to die for i promise you if you like chocolate chip muffins these are the best i've ever had um so snag some of those and we'll have that for breakfast or something um like I said, I went ham here, okay? So I got some lemon bars. These are Meyer lemon bars. I figured um, we could make a yummy lemon loaf. And I don't know, I just was calling my name. I love lemon this time of year. Um, I did get some of my favorite ABC bars. I haven't gotten these the last couple trips that I made to Trader Joe's. So these are almond butter cocoa bars. Very delicious, just snack for me. Um, I also got some pancake mix. We've been out of pancake mix for a while, so I figured we would be nice to have that in the pantry. Sydney loves pancakes. Um, actually, I need to pop some of this stuff in the freezer, so let's go through some of the freezer stuff. So we have uh, chocolate lava cakes. I did get two packs of these. These are a mommy must-have. If you like chocolate, it's so good. One girl, one of you was telling me you wish they were bigger and you wish they were a little bit more cakey. I definitely agree with you. I wish they were bigger. I personally love that there's a lot of molten in the middle, but that's just me personally. If you're a chocolate lover, you will love these. So I'm going to pop those in the freezer real fast. I also got these um, 
for Sydney and possibly her friends. These are little mini ice cream cones and she decided on the chocolate chip one. They have little, um, little cones, a little chocolate covered ice cream part and then the bottom is filled with chocolate. Was that not the best part when you were a kid? They have coffee flavored, chocolate flavored, and chocolate chip uh, for options. I believe those were the choices. She decided on a chocolate chip. I'm gonna quickly pop these in the freezer before they melt on me. All right, moving on, whoops, in the frame here. Moving on over here, we have pickles. So I really wanted sandwich pickles, which is what I um, ended up, I also ended up getting these, which are the organic, just kosher, like sliced pickles to put on sandwiches. Sydney really wanted these bread and butter pickles. The kid loves pickles just as much as I do, so she wanted the bread and butter pickle style chips. In the summertime on grilled chicken sandwiches, so delicious, love. I like to switch them up. I like dill and I also like bread and butter. What do you guys think? Do you like bread and butter pickles at all? I don't discriminate when it comes to pickles. Over here, I did need some condiments, so I ended up getting some yellow mustard, just standard, nothing special yellow mustard. Um, I needed some mayonnaise as well, so got a squeezy thing of mayonnaise. And then this, so. I randomly saw this when I was looking at sauces and I thought, I wonder if this is like a Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, honestly, that is what crossed my mind. I have yet to go to buy the Chick-fil-A sauce um, from Walmart. So I have yet to be in a Walmart in so long. Anyway, I picked this up. It's supposed to be like a burger secret sauce, but I'm gonna try this on like chicken sandwiches or in chicken nuggets or something. Um, we will see, it's called Magnificent, whoa. Magnificence, a tangy sauce of secret proportions. We shall see you guys, the ingredients. It's like dried onion, mustard powder, rosemary extract, ground cloves, um, you know, sugar, vinegar, tomato paste, egg yolks, all, all of that. Hopefully it's good. Anyway, I'll let you know, of course. Um, so one of you guys, I asked on Instagram what snacks that I might be missing out on that, you know, sometimes I go there and I get the same snacks, but I asked you guys on Instagram, someone was raving about these sunflower butter cups. They did have a large pack of them. And you know, since I got a lot of chocolate anyway, I decided to just get the two pack. I will let you know what I think of this. I'm sure it's going to be delicious because how can you go wrong? But I've never tried sunflower seed butter before. So I'll let you know about that. And then Sydney wanted these um, mini cheese sandwich crackers. She tends to go for the cheese ones over the peanut butter, which is, I don't know, she's not my kid. I like the peanut butter ones. Anyway, she got those. And then I thought this might be a nice snack for Sydney and I to try this, these little like sunflower, sunflower. <laughs> oh no, they're wasabi. Oh no, I meant to get the regular ones. Ah, oh, I'm totally not gonna like these. I do not do wasabi. Whatever, I got roasted seaweed snacks. I meant to get the sea salted ones so that we could try them, but we will see. I don't know if she's gonna want those because they're wasabi, they might be spicy. But we'll see, oh well. And then uh, we already broke into these in the car. These are um, fig cereal bars. These, if you like fig Newtons, I think you'll really like these. Um, those were delicious. Like I said, we had one in the car. And then I did get two boxes of the everything crackers. These are so yummy. And I did get a few sauces, a few like dips to dip them in. Um, so always like to have those on hand. These are like my favorite crackers personally. They just have lots of flavor to them. Garlic and onion, they have sesame poppy caraway seeds, lots going on, but very flavorful. So I got two boxes of those. Oh my word, you guys, I don't think I have enough room in my tiny, tiny pantry. Okay, moving on over here, we got some yogurts. I personally got myself a couple of lemon yogurts. As I mentioned before, um, I just love lemon. So I got these low-fat lemon yogurts. I got two of, the, two of these. And then um, we'll move on to dips. One of my favorites is this everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. It's tangy and delicious and it's so good with these crackers dipped into it. So that's all, that's the only thing I've ever tried dipped into it before. Um, I did buy some chips to go with that, but everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. And then also this is a favorite of mine now. I tried this one other time and I am hooked. The green goddess dip is so good i know a lot of people have different flavor profiles what they go for i personally love this because this is a sour cream like tangy dip so if you like the sour cream vibes 
I think you'll like this. It's got um, zesty dip with sour cream, avocado, garlic, parsley, and basil. <sighs> it's just so yummy. Anyway, love that. And then I uh, got some cottage cheese for snacks and lunches this week for both of us. And then, like I said, I did get some chocolates, okay? The chocolate aisle is like the very first one when you walk in and I was hungry. Tis that time of month. So this is what I purchased for myself. We got some dark chocolate mint creams and some dark chocolate covered caramels. Okay, moving along to some snack chips and things. I got these veggie and flaxseed corn tortilla chips. Um, I just like adding, you know, different colors and textures to our mix and these are pretty yummy. This would be probably really good in that um, goddess dress, goddess dip since it's sour cream based. That might be really yummy. A lot of people were telling me to try to, to try the corn salsa and I can never find it. Let me know, is it in the fresh section? Is it in, like where, where do you find it? Cause I can never seem to find a corn salsa, but that sounds delicious. But I am gonna be planning on making a corn avocado like salad, which is kind of like a dry salsa, which I think would be so delicious dipped with this chips in there, these chips in there. Yeah, I think that's gonna be yummy. Can you tell I'm salivating and ready for summer foods and weather? <laughs> I just got some plain ruffle sea salt chips for dips for the everything um, dip. I think that would be good. I'm not a huge chip person, but with those dips, man, oh, dangerous. Also cannot have a Trader Joe's haul without these white cheddar corn puffs, my favorite. Um, and then also another one of these staples is the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Delicious, so good. All right, I also ended up getting some red lentil pasta. This will be a nice nutritious pasta, something different for both of us um, to try. And then more freezer stuff, love Trader Joe's hash browns. You guys, I swear, these are the best. They honestly are. I've tried other hash browns from other places and just Trader Joe's always has the best hash browns. Other snacks for Sydney, I got her some of these sugar snack peas. We always love snacking on those for lunches. All right, I'm getting winded already. So we have some yogurts for Sydney. She decided on the peach and mango uh, Trader Joe's yogurt. I love their flavor combinations. They have the best, like, I don't know, in my opinion, they have the best flavors. Uh, we have fresh out of mommy, which is a really nice high protein snack ready to eat for um, us for lunches. And then also some mini pearl grape tomatoes. I did decide on this bigger box because I was, like I said, gonna make that uh, corn and avocado salad. I also got this Mediterranean orzo pasta salad. I've had it before and it's really good. Sydney and I split this for lunch one time. I don't love, do, so I love, I would buy all of these, okay? I would buy all of them if I didn't care about some sort of budget, because they're expensive. I think this was $4.49, um, so it's definitely really expensive when you can just make your own, but it is delicious. It has feta, dried, um, like sun dried tomatoes, basil, lots of basil on the top and olives and whatnot. It's a Mediterranean orzo pasta salad, kind of similar to the one that I already made last week. Um, but I did, I figured, you know, I could have that for a quick like lunch or something. Oh, you guys, I got this beautiful, here, let me try to zoom you out for a second. I got this beautiful bouquet of tulips. They had a ton of different beautiful flowers and I just figured the tulips were perfect obviously for spring right now. And I'm gonna pop these in a um, base of water ASAP, but those were really pretty. So I also got some sparkling water. This is the blueberry lemonade flavor. So good. Um, love that flavor. It's just one of my favorites as far as sparkling water goes. Uh, for, from Trader Joe's. I also, for fruit, we got some uh, strawberries. These look really, like perfectly ripe and delicious. I can't wait for our strawberries that we're going to like produce strawberries, hopefully in June sometime. All right, moving on to some adult things over here. I don't know, I've never tried this. I really, I've never tried this and I really hope it's sort of okay it was about $14 it's a pre-made strawberry margarita wine cocktail I don't know what that means when it says wine cocktail I know it's made with like a wine base but I hope I hope it tastes like a margarita I don't know we shall see but that was kind of just staring me in the face calling my name and I think this will be a nice little treat like mommy treat maybe me and my neighbor or something can have a little margarita while the girls play um 
and then this bottle of wine was only three dollars and 99 cents so only four dollars for this Malbec um, I feel like I'm not a huge wine connoisseur so I'm sure it's gonna be fine uh, four dollars though I could not pass this up to have that sitting in the pantry um, I did get three ears of corn on the cob, um, again, for my corn salad that I'm making. All right, I had to get behind the camera because I couldn't get my tripod to move over here and focus. This is my frozen food section. I really love Trader Joe's frozen food section so that I can, you know, stock up my and have freezer meals and have really quick go-to meals. Um, Noki, Gorg Noki Gorgonzola is always something that I try to purchase and repurchase always because it's a nice quick meal. I, I always get asked to how I prepare this. All I do is add peas um, and sometimes I'll add grilled chicken as well. And that's, I mean, it's easy. It's already done. I got some frozen ravioli. What is this? Ricotta and spinach filled ravioli with a tomato basil sauce. I've never tried this, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, and then I did try this last time and I really liked it. It's the cheese filled fiochetti with pink sauce. This was really delicious the last time we tried it. So I figured I would get that again. And then this is something that I have a friend who raves about this. I, uh, spaghetti cacao. Ca no, I don't know. Whatever that's. <laughs> It's like a pepper sauce, a black pepper sauce, and she raves about it, and I finally found it. It's never in stock when I go there, um, but this is what it's all about, so we shall see if I like it. And then, of course, just a cheese, a family-style cheese pizza. Cheese and tomato, actually. Wow. I need a throat lozenge after talking that much. All right, you guys, that is my huge Trader Joe's haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it's been a little bit since I've done just a massive Trader Joe's haul, um, and it makes me so happy every single time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did.